we've got a new announcement with a company coming in, big brand coming in, adding four to 500 jobs. This is going to be not in Enfield where Lego left, but it will be in Norwalk on the shore in Connecticut. I think it will attract people driving from all over. It's Connecticut's first Wegmans site. It's beginning demolition in Norwalk, opening set for 2025. It's promising four to 500 jobs, um, and they will be open in 2025. We don't have an exact employee count for the Norwalk store just yet, but our store is generally employed between four and 500 people. This is a monster store. Um, Wegmans was recently granted a one-year extension for the pro project, which was approved one year ago. I've never been to a Wegmans. Have you I've no, I've driven by one. No. Greg, you ever been to one? No, never been. You know what? I was just reading through this, and uh, you know something really cool about this one. Uh, this one is unique from all the other locations in that it will include a two-story parking deck and solar panels on top of the roof and the parking deck. So they're also looking at the possibility of adding Tesla charging stations to the parking area. So they're they're trying to become like their own version of like a Whole Foods. They're like going all in on this Wegmans. They have a hundred stores along the East Coast uh, and seven states which do include massachusetts new york and new jersey were consistently ranked as one of the best companies to work for and we employ over 50 000, uh 50 000, 53 000 people company-wide uh in a presentation to norwalk city wegmans outlined that there will be about 180 full-time and then 250 more or more part-time employees so that four to five hundred can be a little misleading on the top line 180 full-time i think the 700 we're losing with Lego is all full time, from my understanding. Um, yes. Safety and traffic are critically important. They're investing significantly into making sure that that's not a problem. Various traffic improvements along Route One in Norwalk. They agreed to pay for five adaptive traffic signals and sidewalks in and around the site. Uh, it's near the Darien Town Line stretch of Route One. Already houses other grocery stores, including Costco, Shoprite. And stop and shops. So this is a big, big grocery store, but it's like I don't know. They they've got prepared food, market cafe, pizza sub, sushi. So it's kind of like a Whole Foods on steroids, is what I'm getting. That's the the vibe I'm getting. I mean, a fresh bakery, a cheese shop. You have your butcher, your meat and seafood counter. Um, you know, and but it's looking like they're taking what they normally offer and just raising the bar a little bit, which uh, I hope that takes off for them and they put a couple more in Connecticut because I wouldn't mind shopping there. Yeah, uh, I don't know, check it out. At least they're adding some jobs and uh, hopefully that'll be a trend that continues here. I saw yesterday when Jerome Powell gave his little speech from Jackson Hole. By the way, what a great gig that is use our tax money to go and talk about inflation in the economy in jackson hole i mean right <laughs> like could you pick a better spot in august to go visit than than there but uh he says there's more pain coming and what he means by that is particularly in the job market now he's been saying that and it hasn't come to fruition so jobs job market's been really strong um and it just hasn't happened yet, but I don't know. Maybe he's he knows something that uh, we can't see coming. He does say that they may continue to increase rates. So we need to keep adding jobs if that's going to be the case, if there's potentially pain coming in the, in the job market.